Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Katie Walker, the CEO of Revitalist with the symbol Calm, a brand new IPO. How are you doing today, Katie? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Very excited to have you on the show and congratulations on the new IPO. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. So let's get right into it and talk a little bit about Revitalist, which is a wellness center specializing in ketamine-assisted therapy along with psychotherapy. Ketamine-assisted therapy has the potential to treat many mental health disorders. Can you tell us more about this and your company? Sure, absolutely. So this company is led by medical experts, um, anesthesia providers like myself, and then also um, expert therapists to where we are the first of its kind to implement kind of the integration in the mental health field and the medical field. So we are an extremely effective model, um, greater than 85% success to where we are able to help people with chronic mood, chronic pain conditions. We all know those people with the mood aspects. Um, you know, we have several people out there with suffering from depression, anxiety, PTSD, the, even the suicidality piece. And then also those that are just in the, the pain epidemic right now. So we're able to address a lot of these really complex conditions with providers that have, you know, 10, 20 years of experience. And we're all coming together to be not only the best model out there, but also the most cost effective. Um, so we're able to bring a lot of a lot of experience to the surface. We're able to help to really take care of the patient on a comprehensive level. And then not only that, we're able to be, you know, we're, you can actually invest money in this company and it goes to so much more than what other companies would actually be going to just because, you know, as the CEO, I'm also a medical provider. And then we, that's what we're kind of doing with this business is we're leading it with medical and then also business model people to where we can be the most effective model and cost efficient model out there. That sounds great. And our community here at Rich TV Live, we love IPOs because they're new opportunities. And we love companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Typically, an IPO is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed because it's brand new. What made you want to fuel your decision to go and do an IPO right now and go public? So in the, in the outpatient community, what I have learned, um, I've been in medicine for about 20 years now, uh, doing a lot of critical care medicine and then also anesthesia. What we have learned um, since opening this uh, clinic back in 2018 is that there really isn't a standard of care out there at all. So what we want to do is we want to become that standard of care, that gold standard, the accreditation board um, to where we can really implement this. And we want to be in every community out there to where when you see a revitalist, you know what we stand for. You know the transparency that we have. You understand the consistency, the quality that we have to where when you are having trouble with mood or pain, you come here and then you recognize that you will be treated to a high level of care. Um, and then you're able to do that in any cities, uh, not only across the nation, but then all or across the United States, but then also, you know, in the Canadian in the in Canada and United Kingdom and in Australia as well. Wow. It's uh, a lot of markets. That's exciting. Where would you say Revitalist fits in within the market? And what does it mean for the future of the wellness industry? I think this is the most exciting part um, about Revitalist with the wellness industry is, you know, it's you're taking traditional medical providers going with also the mental health providers. This is something that has been yelled out for 20 years that they have wanted to do. So we are the first of its kind after this 20 year yelling out, you know, help us, help us. Now we can see we're in a mental health crisis. We're in, a, um, you know, the opioid crisis and then also just general wellness um, you know, the vitamin deficiencies and such, we're really, really struggling with not only our physical health, but also our mental health. And that's out there for everyone. Um, so what we're able to do is we're, we're coming, you know, we're coming big and we're cut, coming really, really strong uh, with these providers to not only are we going to change mental health, but then we'll also change the physical health aspect. Um, so everything that we're able to do is inside of these clinics. Uh, we're not contributing to anything outside of the clinics. Um, and then that way we know, you know, that we are not contributing to anything um, negative per se. And we're able to be this overall comprehensive care clinic to, you know, we're, we're 
we're led by experts. We, we are aware of that um, kind of thing to where if you bring in anything to us, we can really understand it. And that's really a neat piece that just doesn't exist right now in the outpatient communities. Yeah, I agree. Mental, mental, health, mental health and mental wellness is a major issue and it's getting worse. So having solutions like what you guys are providing is going to make it a lot better for people that are struggling. And there's people all over the world that are struggling with this problem. And I remember years ago, it was a small portion of the market because I used to work in the charities industry and mental health was a small portion of the market. But now almost everybody can resonate with mental health. Almost everybody anywhere in the world can resonate and understand the importance of mental health. So it's really come a long way. And I appreciate the work you guys are doing. Now, what can patients expect that are seeking services but have limited financial means? Is this going to be a very expensive process? So we actually have our own insurance, um, the billing group to where they, they can file insurances with that. We're being very proactive with the cost structure there as well, because, you know, as we all know, me, uh, medicine is not, it's not uh, cheap by any no. means. So anything and everything that we do has everyone's best interest at heart. Um, that includes not only our clients, but everybody who's invested in this vision. Um, you know, all, all the investors with the, with the stocks and things like that. Everything that we do is to make a difference um, with all of this stuff. And, and we, we do recognize there's a lot of wasted funds that go to other things that just don't come to fruition. Um, knowing that we have this cost effective model and, and people are able to actually put their funds into something that they believe in and trying to help the both mental health and trying to help with the pain conditions. We're able to um, help clients, not only with the insurance aspects, but we're also associated with a non a nonprofit called Community Change Great. that is going to be a nationwide thing in the United States to where wow. it's going to be able to delineate funds to those that are needing it the most. Um, and, and that's really an exciting thing as well too. Can you tell us a little bit more about your clinic in Knoxville and your expansion strategy? Sure. So um, Clinic in Knoxville has been open since 2018. Since that time, we have given over 6,000 infusions and, and we're growing um, by the minute kind of thing. Um, with the expansion strategy, where we are going is going to be where we are needed the most initially. Um, so right now we actually do have a veteran contract um, in the United States to where we can go, we can transfer this contract um, across the states with us. So we are... Uh, do we do take care of our veterans that way through the um, Veterans Administration? Uh, we also have an athletic division to where we are going to cities that have a strong university presence. Uh, right now, there's a there's a big crisis with our athletes. That's um, that's very unfortunate. Uh, but we are we are addressing that. We have our own athletic board as well. So all the cities that we go to, um, that, that when we go there, we are going to not only partner with the universities and the VA. We're also going to partner with the hospitals there. Um, if you know about the hospital systems, they just do crisis stabilization to where they will, you know, keep you for two to three days sometimes, and that's it. Um, so what we want to do is to partner with the hospitals. We have partnered with a lot of hospitals um, to where not only do we do they call us and say, hey, I've got somebody who's coming here, um, you know, or who needs to leave here. I want to discharge them to your care. So we just really have um, a, many pots to choose from um, for clients to come to these clinics, because like I said, we don't exist yet. Um, on a nationwide level. And that's the most exciting thing. So like I mentioned, you know, my anesthesia background, and then also we have the therapist, not only that, but we also have an athletic board. We have um, neurosurgeons involved because we're going to focus with the traumatic brain injuries uh, with athletes. We also have the veterans and then we also have frontline workers. So um, with the frontline workers, you know, that's your police officers, your teachers, your therapists, everybody who's really with COVID, especially they have really taken a, a hit with their mental health. Um, so what we want to do is advocate for them. Uh, so that's, that's really the point of this company is to be a very, um, a, a business that advocates for it, for everyone that's associated with it. And, and we want to bring that sense of community back because we have lost it in medicine. Um, and that's how we really want to step up to the plate is to, you know, bring that back, make people feel heard, um, make people feel validated, um, in, in their feelings. And then, you know, with that understanding that on the, on a business level with their clients and our patients, that's what we also want to see with our investors. Um, when you invest in this, you know, what we need right now is we need someone stepping up to the plate in order to break what's going on. 
because if no one does, then it's going to continue to cycle. So that's what we have um, with, you know, and, and we have psychiatrists, anesthesiologists, the surgeons, like I mentioned, neurologists. Um, we have so many good people um, with their advisory boards that are just ready to, 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 to go. Um, and we have the business model there and it's going to grow like a tidal wave. We're so excited over it. I like that. I like that. I was, I was thinking about the symbol calm. And now that I'm learning more about your company, I see it's a perfect symbol because you're trying to calm people down, make them feel relaxed, make mm -hmm. them feel comfortable in a world where there's a lot of reason to not be calm. There's a lot of reason to be uncomfortable. So yeah. I think it's a really good idea. That's a very good symbol. And I think it's a, it makes a lot of sense. And I think there's a huge market for this and there's a need for this. Now, in speaking on that, Spravato is the first prescription nasal spray taken with an oral antidepressant. How does Revitalist plan on using this product? So Spravato, um, we, we've been associated with them for a few years. They're actually FDA approved. Um, Johnson & Johnson is actually the creator of that. So what we're trying to work with them on as well is um, you know, not everyone likes to do medic medicines in different routes of, uh, you know, revitalist, the ketamine that we do is IV. Um, a lot of the psychedelics that are becoming to the surface, they're going to be different routes of care as well. Uh, with Spravato, it's a nasal spray. Um, and, and what, what we did with that is we have really worked a lot with, with Janssen that's owned by, you know, Johnson Johnson owns Janssen, but we have worked with them a lot to really, to help bring awareness to their product, um, a lot of clients actually do very, very well with their product. And that's really what we want to help them with is to try to, um, you know, in a, in a sense to be more detailed as to who they give it to or how, how people um, tolerate it because it's still a very new product. And if you look at it in the psychedelic world, um, the Spravato is the first FDA approved psychedelic to a sorts because it's, it's acting in a very similar mechanism um, as the psilocybin and in the, the MDMA. Um, so that's, that's kind of an exciting thing is with ketamine and Spravato with the ever growing psychedelic market that that's out there, we're already doing that, um, which is really, really exciting. So, you know, with MDMA, with psilocybin, we're super excited for that as well. We actually have our therapists um, that have been trained in the MAPS program um, for expanded access. So that's something that we're converting into and we're preparing to be those providers that not only take, like I said, expert care of all these clients, but those providers that also allow the investors or whomever has the products to where they can feel safe actually having those products being delineated at the clinics here, knowing that everyone's going to be taken care of because of the expert training that we do have. That's fantastic. Now, how do you plan on making ketamine assisted therapy a part of daily practice in future clinics? Can you speak a bit more about your plans for advancing? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the plans for advancing with the ketamine assisted psychotherapy is we are actually working on our own proprietary um, therapy to where right now a lot of people do ketamine assisted psychotherapy in very different ways. Um, to where what we think we have figured out is really the best way out there. So we are able to actually bring clients in. And what we, what we have done is we've increased our chances of success, like 10 to 15% by implementing this with the ketamine. So we're working on actually having that to be kind of a proprietary therapy that's given within our clinics, just because we are, we are aware of the quality that we have and we want it to maintain that quality aspect to where we can go across the, across the lines there with that. But a lot of the ketamine clinics out there right now, there are a ton. Um, a lot of them do not implement the therapy aspect. And that's really, we, I actually did not do that for about six months when we first opened. But since that, that six months after we opened, seeing the difference that it makes is astronomical. And what you can do too, is you can break the pattern of what people are going through much more quickly to where long-term, they don't have to feel like they're barely hanging on to life. They actually start thriving in life instead of surviving it. That's great. Now, recently there was an article about your focus on athletes who have suffered a serious injury or a traumatic brain injury, which a lot of people are talking about nowadays, concussions. How do you plan to help people in this profession? So um, that's actually kind of exciting too. So I played um, collegiate sports myself uh, when, when I was growing up. So I understand the mindset of an athlete a little bit. 
as we all know, athletes are natural leaders or they're not natural. They've been, they've been trained to be leaders um, growing up. So what we want to do is we want to help the underserved populations that are not being heard. So, you know, athletes, people never talk to them. I had never had anyone talk to me about my mental health um, with, with being an athlete. And what we see right now is in a lot of the professional sports, you know, there's a lot of um, addiction issues. There's a lot of mental health issues. We see acute suicides, acute, you know, homicides even um, to where with the athletes, what we want to do is we really want to step up not only help um, you know, the collegiate athletes, but we also want to help the professional athletes and the retired athletes. So with retired athletes, you know, they've proven with um, concussions over time that that can lead to something called CTE, yes. uh, which you know, is a, it, it's, it's a basically swelling of your brain um, and, yeah. and, and it leads to you know, a lot of dementia and things like that. And people are extremely fearful of this. The neat thing with ketamine is it's treating the symptoms associated with it. So you're able, they're able to come here, you know, they're able to come here, treat those symptoms because like I have a huge neurologic um, background. I've been involved in several um, neurosurgeries. I've worked in a neuro ICUs to where we understand not only the behavioral piece, but the functionality piece. And we can differentiate that. I think that's a big thing right now is in the brain. We see the brain as one. We don't see the brain as the brain deals with function. It also de deals with behavior. So not only are we bringing this to the surface to implement the mental and the medical, but we're also helping to differentiate neuro neuro neurology versus psychiatry because both of those kind of get intertwined sometimes. And when we see that with a lot of our clients, so advocacy does not exist to the role that we want it to in the outpatient world. And that's what we want to do for these people is to be advocates. So Athletes, if they're struggling, they can come to one of these clinics. They can expect to be heard because we understand the mindset of an athlete. What does the future look like for Revitalist in the next few years? So future-wise, um, we're super excited because actually, um, you know, we're, we're looking to, you know, hopefully in the next three years, our minimal goal is to build 120 clinics. Wow. Um, but with a goal that, you know, hopefully we could be around 300 clinics um, because, <laughs> Right now we have, um, oh, we have like 30 people waiting. Uh, and when I say 30 people, I'm talking about the expert um, trained um, anesthesia providers that are ready to go. Um, and those, and those, not only are they, are they ready to go, but the therapists are already ready to go. So, you know, this is the model that everyone's thriving for. Fortunately, I've been doing it for the last five years. So um, I'm about, I feel like I'm a little ahead of the curve. Um, so that's the exciting thing is, you know, what we can do is once we, once we get going, we're, we're not going to stop kind of thing. Um, and then, you know, just impact is, is the biggest thing that we want is to impact these communities. Katie, this has been a great interview. We're going to have investors from all over the world watching this interview. We pretty much have about a hundred countries that will be learning about Calm today. Symbol is C-A-L-M on the Canadian Securities Exchange. What is the best way for investors to get in contact with you once they see this interview? Sure. Yeah. The best way would actually be to email me at info at revitalist.com. Um, that'll be a direct line to me to where if people have questions, that's what I'm here for. I'm all about communication. Like I said, we're bringing the communities, we're advocating. Um, and that's what we want is to be transparent. And then we also want to communicate effectively to where everyone feels validated. And that includes all of our investors because we couldn't do this without our investors. That's great. Thank you so much for your time today. Katie Walker, the CEO of Revitalist. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Now in saying that, we love to bring you the winners and we love to bring them to you first. I always like to tell our community, invest in the best, the best is blessed. This is a brand new IPO. so. A lot of potential here, and I'm very excited to see it roll out. Thank you once again, Katie, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure, and thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody.